everyone we are back with another story from this snowy story collection this one is called mittens for mouse mouse was visiting her friend polar bear who had planned lots of snowy activities for her winter stay on the first morning, Mouse looked outside and began to shiver. Look how icy it is, she said. Can we stay inside? Polar Bear put down his keys and sat beside Mouse in front of the fire. Of course, he said. We can go skiing later. But they didn't. Mouse snuggled under her cozy blanket and stayed there all day. The next morning, Polar Bear was up bright and early. Are you ready to go skiing today? He asked Mouse. But still, Mouse refused. It looked like it might snow, she said. I think I'll stay here and read. Polar Bear sighed. He trudged outside and went for a walk, leaving Mouse to enjoy her book. It wasn't long before the warmth of the fire sent Mouse to sleep. She only woke up when she heard a loud knock-knock. Mouse pulled her blanket around her shoulders and opened the door. Hello, she said, but there was no one there. Then she noticed a parcel on the doorstep. It must be for Polar Bear, she said to herself. But when she picked it up, Mouse saw that it was addressed to her. She ripped off the paper and found a pair of woolly gloves inside. The note read, Put these on and come outside. There's something else you need to find. Mouse finally stepped into the snow, but she hardly felt the cold. She was too excited thinking about her next clue. She soon found it by the holy bush and inside the parcel was a woolly hat. You're almost ready for the snow. The igloos where you need to go. The final clue led her to a parcel with a fluffy scarf inside. She read, now you're feeling warm and snug. Can you find a cozy? Mouse turned over the piece of paper. Where was the end of the clue? Then she looked up and saw Polar Bear with his arms open wide. Hug! he called, wrapping Mouse in the cuddliest bear hug she could ever ask for. Thanks for getting me ready for winter, said Mouse. Now let's go and have some fun! <laughs>